That's what I said. I said Liquid won the knife, didn't I? Yeah. So they'll be starting on the CT side here, and it looks like a fast, fast top. They're going out squeaky door. No, they're not. They've dropped the smoke. This gives them the opportunity to limp down the vent. Flashes through. The music's hype. We're hype, and down the vent they go. No one's One, seen two, it. One, two, three, four. All onto Stewie then. Smoke towards Decon won't stop him. Need to get the bomb down. No shots hitting just yet. Would love to hear the game sound as well. And now we do. And Stewie blows two brains out of the server. Elise replicates the success onto another. And so Liquid, they are just getting this one done. Naf doesn't want Leash to steal his kill. And unfortunately, it's all onto Floppy for Cloud9 and their fans. Look, he heard the music. He's a little late to the party. He's bringing the booze, though, so don't worry. He'll be there in a sec. But sadly, bomb in the middle of no man's land. He's down and done for. Yeah, a little bit of an overzealous team kill at one point. But as quickly as it started, it felt as though it was quite quickly over. Yeah, and look, I like the approach. Uh, Stewie dropping that smoke, they kind of segregated things as they weren't busting out that squeaky door into the lower bomb site. Now, for those people playing at home, uh, yeah, Liquid have basically just slotted Grim in to Nitro's positions. Here's something I'm intrigued about. Mm. Rare to see two people actively choose to buy decoys, and uh, never mind. Okay, cool. So I just saw Twist's XM. I wonder if he was going to try and fake it out with the shotgun sound and hut, try something else. It's all a possibility. Stewie's going aggressive towards ramp, and... That is where Ooh. the majority... Oh, if he gets in that close corner, oh, never man. mind. Blind spray, running out of oh, bullets. Oh, oh, the farm. Oh, Stewie, why are you so crisp, dude? It's just like, I, I don't care they're on, on, on any other gun. He's, He's feeling it. So good. He makes it look so good. Do you want the first three? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. He's doing what he should at the little SMG yeah, on the side of the smoke, them. but it's the two kills after. It's the crispness. Like, just, just, Let's keep track of his MP9 bullets, because he was... 15. Premature on the Eleven. switch for sure. He gets a kill here. No, he's perfect. bang on. Perfect. Boop. Bob. Boop. Bob. Why is he so good? He make, like, you know when someone makes Counter-Strike look sexy? Yeah. Oh, sexy Counter-Strike's real. I've been saying that for years. I'm so glad you agree. Have you? Yeah. Oh. Sexy Counter-Strike. It's, uh, it's a prime example of sexy Counter-Strike delivered very early into our third map. So no complaints here. Get your orders in. Twist is going to get a real slapper of a kill here on Sonic. He can tuck into this corner and just wait. Alligator, fantastic for the top hut position. In the hut, even better. Cloud don't actually want to head towards ramp here, but there's two Loud. players waiting. Oh no, this could get dicey. Huh? How do they not get punished for flubbing the boost? It was perfect timing from Cloud9. Mottom had a chance. He's going to get hunted now by the shotgun twists. He's got his number, but great positioning from Mottom. Crosshair, pinpoint, perfect. Oh. OC, had he won it, could have turned turned the tides of battle. Instead, it's onto Mottom. I love the move. Straight through the smoke, unknown, unspotted. Unfortunately, didn't retrieve the bomb and now could be pushed down. Both of them there. No health, no hope. Four HP, a single bullet could kill him. And they're hunting him down. Together, he's found a gap. Not going to get the transfer, but a real shot. Mottom gave it a good go. Why are you pulling that face, Chad? I got really dicey. Like, I, I understand what Liquid were doing there. If you don't want to give him too much territory, don't want to get him to have the bomb and isolate some 1v1 jewels. But it felt like they couldn't find him in the smoke. And for a minute there, I thought Modem was uh, Houdini and he was able to pull off a little bit of a miracle right there and maybe steal the round away. But it was not to be. And now back down towards the pistols here. You can see light upgrade, utility, potentially going for a secret cross. That is the standard when you see the smokes come on out like this. And there they go, the close one. And then the two deep to follow. They're even dropping the Molotov to guarantee that smoke wall goes on down. That's been an adaptation over Nuke in the last couple of years. The T's coming up with more and more innovative ways to guarantee they can get across to that part of the map without too much trouble. And back towards ramp they go. Oh, it's looking well held. But Elise is doing just fine. I mean, this is a shutdown again. They're trying and trying and trying. It feels like getting close. That's an orc that you don't want to lose right there. Oh, Floppy, that was so sweet. Nice little strafe around the corner to finish the initial dink. I don't want to lose that orb. I mean, this is going to be a tough one. With so much time left on the clock, he's got to give it a good go. Wow, Stu. What has possessed this man? It seems that the space of Nitro's absence has been taken fully by Stewie 2K. Maybe it's Jason. Maybe it's Moses. Maybe we're putting the, him yeah, up. Yeah, it's like he's just sitting there. He's just in Stu's ear. He's like, you're the best. You can do it. I believe in you. No one hears that enough, you know? Nah. Jason never said that to us. He didn't say it to you? Oh. Oran was getting it every day. Favoritism ever there. <laughs> Poor old Jane.
not happy. Th- enthusiasm. Lots yeah, of enthusiasm. <laughs> Alex, yeah. you'd know better than to be vague when Lauren Pansy <laughs> Scott's around. Specific phrasing. Yes, I understand. I can do it. Mm. I promise. Now, naded at the door early. Grim's going to take advantage of that and throw out a deep smoke. So as theirs fades, he'll be able to drop down and take additional control of that T-side vent. You can see that really has put it... Ooh. Oh, there is a little gap for Sonic to maneuver. Won't be finding anything. And that hut position from Grim will be tested later on. I haven't seen much of this toying towards the outside area, but Naf seems to believe it this time. Last time posted up. Oh, a leash could be forced away, but... Looks like there's certainly enough to be seen there if they did try and go for it. Let's see if they do. No, they're peeling away from this one. So Bomb still... Right around the back by Hup, but the CTs aren't really falling for much here. They're kind of holding nerve. Yeah, notice the rotation here. If you look at the minimap, it's just Elysia in that lower bomb zone. It looks like they want to go back for a bit of a top hit here. So Elysia will play the pixel gap with the smoke if there is any threat. Naf will be able to rotate in heaven with the AWP, and that's going to put pressure on Twist and Grim within the top site here. So good timing on this smoke. It's fantastic. They'll throw out their Molotovs regardless. They're going to go. Elysia. He can get the timing right here. Sonic down on, oh, it's all perfect from Liquid. A flurry of blue in the kill feed. Only one clawed back by Mottam again. The last one to fall and only a single Constellation frag that he can acquire. Distinct abs absence of fragging from three members of Cloud9. Take a look at the scoreboard. JT, one. OC, null. Sonic, the same. Floppy, just the one. And here's the frag from Grim, drawing the fire. And as they, att they look to attend to Grim, Elyse times himself up the ladder. It's perfect. Double kill from Naf that we didn't address either. And we are going to be seeing that half by coming in with the pistols. A quasi, if you will. Lots of util. Tech nines. Good to see more of them. It might be the secret smokes coming in once again here. So they're netting open squeaky time after time just to keep these top players honest. And well, they'll hold on to the smokes for a little bit longer here. But one of the keys of that round for Liquid in the previous was the fact that their individuals are so strong. Those secret smokes came up, but because Elyse is holding the lower bomb site, you don't need to cheat anybody to help Elyse. He's going to lock that one down. That meant they could keep Naf towards Heaven, covering outside. Two players top and Stew over towards Ramp. So that's why individuals can be so potent. That Molotov that Elyse is throwing, I want to check that one out. He's using it as a one-way, that cheeky little... Oh, he's peeking over the flames. I wondered what he was calculating there. I mean, this is the power of having Elyse play it, right? This is the perfect example of it. Yes, it's against pistols, but he buys time. He stays secure. He allows you to stay focused on where you are, setting up Grim and Twist to be unfazed and unfussed by anyone coming from the outside area. That's going to be some confidence-boosting frags as well for Grim, just continuing to extend his un defeated six kills. He's still yet to fall. Stewie managed to get to 13. Let's see if Grim can contend for the record on this series for the Team Liquid roster, who do seem to have gotten under the skin of Cloud9. As you highlighted, rightfully so, when I was getting all screamy on yeah. Overpass, you did highlight it was actually Lauren who said, this is, you know, this is the pinnacle uh, of what we had from Cloud9 at the moment. But, but the one thing that excites me is, though, if Cloud9 can apply that to other maps, because technically what they're doing isn't just based off one or two players having, like, really highlight games. Yes, sure. OC was a big factor, but the exciting kind of element of this, you know, keenness, the set pieces, the little, little ideas, I love them to extend that map pool, but Nuke isn't a great one for them either, bear in mind. I think it's like a one-for-one. One. They lost to Chaos and beat someone uh, pretty a little bit lower than their tier. So, I mean, I, I don't look at this yet as, as a great map pool for Cloud9, but it was the only one where they had the good chance. And here comes the caveat, which is, this is T-side Nuke. You know what? You can, throw a, you, can, you can throw away the first six. You can throw away the first nine. You pull out a nice four or five, that CT side regiment can totally turn the momentum back in your favor. Certainly would like to see OC wake up if that was to become a reality. Haven't seen him fill the feed once just yet. Well, look at how passive they are. They were basically just guarding, not even holding lobby, just holding the exit of lobby. And they're going for outside smokes here. Different smokes. Oh, it looks like the L frame that they've set on up here. So this one, you can do multiple things. with limp on in towards warehouse as the smoke starts to fade, pivot on through into main and go for a little bit of a top split. It looks like it's going to be the former here. This flash goes on over. They'll push on through and towards ladder they go. Yeah, but look at Liege. He's not in secret this time. He's over by spawn and they have no idea. Completely unaware. It's the one for one trade. He's going to at least understand the plan, be able to relay oh, the Grimm. plan, the timing. I don't think Grim's got I don't a think clue. Grimm knows. Mottam could be a big game changer here. Set up for success. The flash comes in. Grim slips away towards rafters. Yeah, and that presence is enough. He can chill now because they have to be paranoid about heaven. They don't have the info. Sonic's still way, way back outside. Mottam choosing to advance. Twists on the CT vent. 
Grim on the rafters. Naf in hut with the AWP. Let's see, OC responsible for CT Vent. They have their backs turned and they get punished. That is not enough. That is not good enough. Cloud9, they had such a prime opportunity there and it squandered. Naf was in heart from the start of the round as well. That's a, a, a key takeaway there. The fact that Cloud9 got all that territory outside, it didn't matter because Liquid knew what was up. Once you can maintain lobby presence like that, it means you have less angles you have to worry about and even that pressure coming in from heaven. The idea is pressure from main, pressure from heaven, pressure from lobby. Well, we knew there was no pressure from lobby. Naf knew there was no pressure from lobby. And one of those key choke points, it meant that Liquid could focus elsewhere. And now they're sitting at seven and zero, trying to speed run this map here. Yeah, it does feel like a quick one. Awesome games done quick. Eat your heart out. Team Liquid are doing it. Autumn was so paranoid if someone pushed up close. I think he thought he hit someone in the smoke. Still yet to see Sonic break his silence. And OC submitted his application to the secret agent service. 007 license, certainly not to kill. Down to lower, loud as hell. Bomb plant priority, a leash to stop it. But look at the variety. This is three different spots they've had to try and work out. Like, oh, what? Convert? Where did he get JT from? That's what I want to know. Stewie's here already, and this man is on point. He's crisp today. He just plays a little different. So now Sonic, uh, he, he could do with a kill or two, but he ain't going to get the round away. Um, yeah, Twist closes the book before it opens, but I would... Be, I would hate to play against the leash. He plays secret, he plays that outside area in such a dynamic manner. Yeah, this is the thing with the CT side now and Nuke. We're gonna get this in slow-mo here. I think you'll get a chance to see this kill onto JT. Just a bullet or two. Oh, wow, the spray transfer right there. I don't even think he, he was he aiming at him. He didn't even mean it. So it will be a timeout for Cloud9, but I think, you know, the CT side on this map has to allow your outside players, and we were talking about this yesterday with JKS and Gratis Faction, you know, and it was mainly, well, I don't know who the originals were, but players who I've seen it do a very well, who work over each other very well, is Electronic and Simple, right? Electronic can get up close yard with the rifle, Simple overseeing with the AWP, Simple can go aggressive with the AWP. Basically playing positions where he can get called to to swing on in and get the big green working to its absolute best. Now you're seeing the same thing here. Naf's been in hut. Naf's been up a ladder. Naf's been you know down ladder base. Elijah's swinging under. Hold. Look, uh, we haven't even seen a single bomb plant from Cloud9. Really note that here. So the fact that they're not even getting that much penetration to the bomb sites to make post plants competitive, it is dire straits right now. And they need to start turning this one around because the bank is built. They need to put at least two or three on the board before they can break Liquid's economy. Yeah, it's looking a little rough around the edges and Naf wants to make it look elite. What? Worse. Yeah, it didn't. Did he need to get that extra? Did Sonic really need a harder time right now? I don't think so. But Elige again, going to be keeping himself played into this. And Naf with a new look too. Sitting over towards the outside. The smoke's coming. I don't know how he's going to find a pick from this though. Yeah, I mean, a wild speculative shot is pretty much his only hope here. And Nade looks good too to soften him up for the descent. So see that catches the brunt of it. And he'll be rotating now through the ramp room. Elige, he'll be jiggling on the corner here. Drops the smoke on contact. Elish is so good at this. Again, time and time again, he just buys moments. And Stewie, I'm sure, is starting to lean that way. You've got Naf probably still keeping in mind, okay, how do I supplement these positions? And it just feels like Cloud9 can't get those strides going. And that smoke there, that's the warning sign. That has meant Stewie has now rotated into the lower bomb site. They have two individuals ready to deal with this and three turtling up towards top. So covering the bomb sites that's now, cool. they've been pushed back, but the forces are bolstered in both areas. Using the, the door frame to, to get the jump peak even safer Works out wonderfully, uses it as a drop, the incendiary, buying more time for this rotate to be established. They're still committed. They're still down there. And now the spray, the utility, they're flashed by Stu. It's a murder box. You can't go anywhere. And Team Liquid, you said they were on speedrun mode. They are just running through the opposition and Sonic humiliated by Elijah for his fourth. That's nine to zero. Team Liquid looking very different to the one that stepped into the server on overpass. And once again, no plant. They're not getting into the bomb site far enough to make these rounds interesting whatsoever. This hold right here from Elysian and Stewie was fantastic, right? The fact that they had all these warning signs, you know, once we hit this <laughs> point, this is what we drop. The rotation comes in. It just looks like they're going through the motions of dry runs. It honestly just feels like a masterclass in how you play this, right? It's that I've never, it doesn't feel like they get caught out. They don't make mistakes. They're not overstaying their welcome. They're falling back. They're kind of reading it right. Nap this time a little deeper on the nade. They're starting to feel the play out, it seems. Yeah, Nap on the orb, clearly the responsible 
Or for the outside oh, yard. They're all going for it again through the smokes. They want to rinse and repeat, probably with a bit more pace this time. They paused and it cost them last time. Now charging, holding W in pursuit of the same. Last time Elish was on rafters, this time he switched it up again. So another new look for Elish. Stewie's going to be called in for support. Naf's there too. Quickly on rotation, you can see they haven't crossed yet. He does get overwhelmed. First real chance for Cloud9 here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he puts his barrel in the belly. Floppy goes down. It's Twist and Grim to tidy it all up. Put the mess in the toy box because it's 10 and 0. Oh, look at the scoreboard as well. We've got four members of Cloud9 with the same score, and it's a single frag. Gang, there's only one round so far in this entire first half where uh, Liquid have been pushed, and that was the third round of the game where one individual survived. Other than that, it's been three or more surviving in every single round. All right, I think. Hello, Mottam. I feel like we found a difference here, if I'm completely honest. And hello, Elige. A little bit of aggression, another new look. The man has so much versatility. However, Mottum this time will find him. So the entry does go the way of the tease for once. Yes, it was off the back of some aggression. And OC has a bit of a go towards Naf. We've finally seen it, but off the back of aggression and twist, he's playing into it, oh. and he gives it up. I mean, here we go. I said it. It is T-side nuke. If they pick this one up, if they continue to roll, let's not forget. Sorry, what? Stewie and Grimm are in the server, folks. It seems Stewie's got a companion, a partner in crime for this absurd 2v5. He's picked up the orb. Win this? Bomb's loose. Modern's JT's low. not got friends. I've got a foreboding feeling. Certainly. Right? It's, it's just that little bit of worry. Grim, I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't think Floppy's going to remember any of that either. Head gets ripped off and now JT is sweating. So is Martin. Like, this was the round. This was the chance. We had it all. We had the picks. We had the entries. And now we've got Stewie kind of guarding the bomb, looking after his buddy. Oh! What? All right, I'm leaving. I'll see you later. <laughs> Team Liquid have found themselves a gem. Grim and Stewie, oh. 2v5, up against the world. Oh, you said foreboding feeling, Lauren. You were bang on the head. That's nuts. Let's see how it all started. OC gets the second frag of the round. This becomes a 2v5 at one point, 3v5 initially. Look this is this. nonsense. Stewie oh. 2K, he ran out of mouse pad. He's on the desk. He's on his bloody thighs at that point. Yeah, that's <laughs> what we do, boys. That's what we do. Oh, Ooh. wow. Okay. All right. Well, Liquid came to play, so did Naf in particular, as he's found a first, not the second. OC swinging wide, but traded. Ah, uh, this one's, this one's done. This one's been done for a minute. Yeah, there was our window, right? The, maybe those last five rounds, they put... You're broken. I'm d I am mentally exhausted watching. God forbid being the IGL trying to work that one out. How are you meant to get around it? We'll see what they can maybe muster up. And for Cloud9, it does feel like a long call back to the yes years of that first map, but... Hey, they, they got a, they got two francs. Yeah, I like butts. Two francs is something. <laughs> Alex. The innuendo, it's hitting like a 9 out of 10, guys. And look, I'm getting some calls. The phones are ringing off the hooks here. I know the game is brutal, but we want to keep uh, ourselves as PG as possible, okay? I mean, tell that to Stewie. Yeah, tell that, that to PG what they... It's after the watershed, Chad. That was raw, unadulterated, R-rated sniper action. I'm glad you closed out with that. So am I, so yeah. am I. No, uh, averaging 1.66 deaths around as a team. So there's there's kind of the summation of what you yeah. were saying, Chad. That's that's putting it in uh, some tangible figures for everybody there at home. This is uh, this terminology I would have used a long time ago, and it wouldn't go with the PG rating. Uh, so look, they're getting owned, destroyed. Yep. Pooned. Yeah. But yeah, I think Lauren's onto something here. This is feeling hopeless at this point. There's just been so many different looks that Liquid have thrown out. They're playing off each other fantastically well. Every move they make, there still hasn't been a single bomb plant. And we're 12 rounds deep. So at this point of the game, it doesn't even matter. Max loss bonus, 3,400 in the back pocket every single time for Cloud9. The fact that they haven't been getting the plants is why we've been, so many, we've been seeing so many of these Tech 9 rounds. Because with the plant, they would have been able to facilitate buys. But because they haven't, it means they have to go gun round, Half by. Right. Gun round, half by. Oh, Lee. He surely doesn't get more than one. Thankfully, Floppy does stem the bleed. It all just feels everyone's poised for a multi kill. It's like, okay, who's doing this time? Is it Stewie? Oh, no, it's the this time. Oh, Naf's going to have a crack at it. Worth noting, JT's been in secret this entire round. He got there with the smokes, and now he's just sitting there. Not sure how he's going to play a part in the finish. I'm not sure either, but Naf's. 
keep an interest. And I think he knows that he's trying to exploit this, but he's not going to go down easy. It's not. Infinaf's crosshairs and nice work, Stewie. However, what has this man had for breakfast? Another double kill up against the odds. And now the odds do switch in favor. It's Cloud9 in pursuit of their very first. And of course, Stewie2K. They're going to plant. One to stop it the first. Hey! Something. It is. Crowd goes mild. <laughs> Still need to go wild. There's the kit in absolutely no rush. Floppy's so paranoid about heaven. There's a real shot for Stewie here. Floppy finds it. Cloud9 will take the first. They'll break their silence, but my goodness. Uh, it's the cliche that comes out of many a commentator's mouth. Is that too little, too late? Certainly possible. Converting it into a 12-3, suddenly a conversation can be had. A good team talk, a reset, but I'll be honest, the liquid that are picking up these 12 rounds and the manner by which they're finding them, it, it's, it's doomsday for Cloud9. <sighs> well, it's a storm cloud of some variety here. It's not looking good. But, look, Counter-Strike, it's a wild game. This is probably the overtime. Don't you worry about that one right there. <laughs> we don't want Liquid to let go. We want them to keep their foot on the gas. So the reason for that is if you get complacent in a game like this, you give them anything, just an inch, or they'll take a mile. How many more cliches can we get into this one right here? Yeah, close but no cigar, Chad, that's for sure. Salt in the wound, that's, that's for sure. <laughs> that's all the cliches I've got. Anymore? No. Oh, right. oh, we're going to put it in the oven soon, Lauren. Don't worry about Thanks. it. Oh, Naf. Uncharacteristic miss from him. What do you do now? How is he allowed to escape? He Hello? Does. He's fully out of there. He was so overextended and not a single punish on an unsmoked, unflashed escape. Oh, Floppy needs to be careful. He has the bomb here, and he's postured the most for forward here. It's going to be a top split. Oh, thank you. Twist catching them. He's even got a second of dink onto Osi. Elise spots the other. They've got info, both top site, and Naf can respond in kind. He'll be flashing for the fight. Oh, it's a great Molotov. Will enable them to isolate just a little bit, but the bomb's not down. Elise, ooh, he's mm -hmm. thinking about it. He's flirting with the element of surprise here. He knows OC's not expecting some fights from Maine, and look at the timing. They'll peek together. Oh! OC gets them both, lines them up, knocks them dead like Skittles. They tumble. Now all onto one. Naf, verse two playing with the sound, playing with the timing, playing with their minds, but he's going to have to go back up eventually, and they're both still pretty much posted up here, Mottam right, but... Oh, excuse me, now. They've got confidence in spades. Okay, but, but let's bring one. I think it was Floppy got four kills in the last round they won. This time it was OC. Mm. If it, it, <laughs> I don't want to make any light of what they're doing. Obviously, they're doing well, but two rounds is two rounds. Well, you're missing the real key here, Lauren. Right. They planted the bomb two rounds in a row. Right. So uh, you're they, right, though. If they just plant the bomb, they'll win. You're right. It is the individual performances <laughs> that we're seeing come through here, and, and that's the reason that those two rounds have been put on the board, right? It hasn't like it's been tactical brilliance. It's been some fantastic shots being hit, and on both sides, really. So, Liquid, I wouldn't say they've been getting complacent, but it was a little bit of an unlucky timing there as they lined up coming through main. Now, if they can finish things off strong, give themselves all the confidence they need going into the last, this could be looking good for Team Liquid as we move on to their T side. Now, JT with the L block smokes will be making his way across towards Secret, but it will be Ramp. And who's waiting over there? It is Stewie. Yeah, last time it wasn't the double. This time it's nothing. Naf does equalize and surprisingly fast from him. Bottom behind him. They'll be having access to Ramp Room, but unfortunately, can't plant in Ramp. There's a lot more progress to be made, and Alicia's has found another corner to dig his heels into. Twist is down here as well now. He's not alone and cross is held. This is where I feel like Alicia does quite nicely. He does pull to Floppy, who's been trying to hold his own here. He's created many a moment. Information found, I'm pretty sure that's on Grim working down the events. And Naf, obviously playing back in with the Orb's going to be a little bit trickier, but maybe they can do something with it. For now, these three T players just holding on to the wild ride. There's been this map and Grim, good for a one for one, but Naf has to go so far beyond. And that's going to be, well, uh, a very one-sided affair, a bit of a torrential rain in this one. And I don't know if Cloud9 can come back, Alex. I'm a little worried. A lot of liquid.
take no, take no excuses for it. I love any deliver. I feel like something's missing when I do not have it. I feel it in my bones, gotta find my space. These emotions on my face. Taking a toll, I gotta pay it forward. I'll give it all that I can. No matter what, I won't let up. It's in my soul, it's in my blood. If it don't hurt me, it makes me stronger. Yeah. You know what I won't let up. It's in my soul, it's in my blood, and I won't take it no more. I won't. Oh, Three, twelve, three. Never much love when it's twelve, three. Cloud nine in jeopardy. GG.bet do agree. How do I keep getting away with those? I don't even know. Well, soon we'll see. Thank you, Chatty B. Into the game though, and I'm alongside Pansy. I want, I want to leave. <laughs> hey, it worked as well. No, it didn't. Kinda. No, it Let didn't. Let me have it. Right. Counter strike twists does fall into the top site, and they can't quite believe their luck. They're like, uh, okay, I guess we're playing retake on the pistol, and I understand it. They've got smokes and kits and all the and good Molly. stuff. I can't go up the ladder now. OC's got a flash to get them in, and a molly of his own as Where? well. So potentially on their side of the bomb box, but it's not going to matter here. Yes, this Wait. is exciting. Okay, hang on. Here comes the fight, folks, <laughs> oh, and everyone's dead. Nope, never mind. It's the three v three mid round for Lauren to dissect. I, I'm loving it. You still got Nap on the site. You still got a leash here, open and just brazen. But that was just beautiful, Chad. I'm sure that got you a little excited. I like the idea, but it felt like Liquid knew what was up. You could see how they were postured, ready for this retake. I would suppose if you go into top site and nobody's home, you have to think the jig is up and go. Ah, well, if you're not going to play the bomb site, you have to be playing retake and. We're ready for that as well. So winning those jewels there as they're coming through main, that was key. And then into the blender of the top side, they went 13 to three. And it's going to be the force buy from Cloud9. Two MP9s, some five sevens, and some nades. It's getting, uh, look, look, sad out there. It's sad. It's sad. It's sparse. We'll call it that for now. But honestly, it's been a great indicator for Liquid, Alex. I'm, I'm enjoying this. I'm loving watching Alige yeah. look confident. Stewie's been a monster. It's, it's been phenomenal to watch. I mean, not even that, but just... Oof, getting to see Cloud9 hang on, bringing in a little bit of the flare themselves. Twist keeping things competitive, though, and what a cleanup. Good grief. They're thriving in this chaos. They don't need to stay rigid. <laughs> Stewie can't quite believe it. Twist just turned himself upside down and used his hair as a mop. He really did. Cleans it all up. Look at this. Drops down. Hello, boys. Forget about me. What a turnaround. That's a T coming in from the rooftops. Everybody scream your heart out. 14. Two to go for this one to end on a bang. 
And unfortunately for Cloud9, they're bringing in the Famases and the MP9s, understandably, putting every single penny towards trying to break Team Liquid's spree, but... I mean, we've had two oh. fives. We've had everything, oh. and already they're oh. gliding down towards the lower. They'll leave Elise there as a little nugget for that top side take. It honestly just feels like Cloud9's missed the last train home. They're, they're so out of it, right? There's just, there's no way they're keeping up. Liquid are just so far ahead here. The confidence in which Elise bounded down past that smoke wall. Yeah, no, certainly. Nice shot from Elise. That could very well be the start of the kill switch for Cloud9. An end of their heartache. Four to four. Do we can change it? JT needed that. Naf does manage to convert. And continuing to pressure OC from behind. Sonic strikes his fourth frag of this game. But down to the low site for a 2v3 after plan. Okay, it's not the Grim and Stewie combo we had, but it's the Naf Grim combo. We'll see. As Naf is pushed forward, he has to be the first port of call for the ramp players. But you've seen Floppy just take down Grim. Naf turns, but Sonic is quicker. And it's another on the board. Honestly, for Cloud9, any Cloud9 fans, you, you want it to at least look competitive when you look back on it. You'll know what would have happened, but scoreline-wise, it's not, it's not It's not. nice. If we're going to dissect this other than the game is probably over, uh, let's look at the money situation for Liquid. So that plant is going to facilitate what I would hope would be a force buy, but maybe Jason's in their ear saying, listen, boys. Play it safe. We need two more rounds. Let's just calm it down, take a deep breath, and buy some deagles. And that's what's coming on out here. So Twister's got one. Grim's just purchased in. It's just a leash yet to buy. Maybe deciding what he wants to have as his side. I mean, it will be the five deagles. It's not often we get to see decos. These used to be popular many a year ago, many a moon. I'm having to go back to when I was a whippersnapper. Dude, I'm so old. Jesus Christ. You lean into it, though. You ham it up. You love a bit. Oh, I'm ancient. Oh. I'm so old. Uh, Life's over for me. Hold up a second. I don't know why you sound like a Muppet. But regardless. Uh. <laughs> it is Deagles and no armor other than the NAF Extra Spice. And jeez, Louise Twists has still opened an account for Liquid. Planning ahead. OC does manage to do some damage, though. Yeah, it, it, it's scary. There's still plenty of threats, but you've got to hope that he can keep them at arm's length. Kind of play this out as you'd like to as a... It's going oh, on. We don't do Dead. this. We don't do this. We How is this happening? It's now a 3v2. Floppy and JT are going to be called upon. The bomb is down, so it's not quite there yet, but nowhere feels that secure if you're on the CT side. Everything's now got a potential problem. Chad, give us the, 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 put the thinking cap on for us. You're in a 2v3. You know they're on a weak buy. You know they had yard. What, what, what's the call here? Sit tight. He looks like he's looking for the fight. The problem is they've given away so much yeah. map control here, and they already are separated. They kind of have to hope that they can multi-kill. That's the only way that this one can work. JT, he will spot one. So that's a big first frag to find, but his position has been given up. So now Elysian Naf can try and isolate the footsteps being heard, and so they can push on in for a little bit more. But JT's doing a good job of evading them here. Sound cue. Support is present, and that's lovely. Stuff. Cloud9 do manage to stabilize after that one. But to be honest, I don't know how Twist managed to keep it competitive to start with. I think they're still having fun in games. That was just the Deagle Eco, the Deco, if you will. Okay. So, yeah, look. We just saw how easily Elise got down secret before. I wouldn't mind if they were to just to go for that standard smoke wall again and play a standard round. You don't need to do anything too crazy right here. You can see what that Deagle purchase has actually done to Grim. He actually spent a little bit more than he should have. So here we have in the Galil in this one. It's still serviceable. It will be a fast outside aggression here as Modem getting on top of the red container, punished immediately by Twist, and you don't want to be starting a round like this down four to five cloud nine. This. Clearing out that red box aggression. Had anyone been alongside Mottum? And there is. There is a kink in the mind. tail. OC's pushed up. Surely Elish has to clear this up. I don't think he will. Surely. If he's gone through the, the process of everything else, he tried to. He did give it a good try, but OC is holding on to this. Both hands on the range trying to draw this back from the bro. Oh. And that's incredible. Three is more than enough to ask for one player, but they still need more. How is this a 2v1? How is Naf in this and still looking so likely to do damage? Denied by JET, but for a second or two, it got a little bit dicey. Certainly. Did all eight kills in that round go down 
at yard. All yeah. eight kills in, in that first, same position seconds. just went down everybody like a moth to a flame, swarming to the yard position to stop the bleeding. And now, well, Cloud9, they're starting to mount some rounds. We might need to change our tune just a little bit here because Team Liquid should be on an eco or a partial buy. And this is great stuff. They're getting on in there. They're helping their teammates. They're making sure that they're able to trade in worst case scenarios. Well, there's a nice little picture of Stewie up there in your top left. And it will be the Deagles yet again. Just some casual pistols coming on out. Let's see if the org up close and personal. He can't scope. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Changed his mind and gets away. He saw what Twist was capable of with the Deagle. And I think that's enough to incite a little confidence. But Floppy, he's got boo buckets of confidence. Well, don't know where else I was going with that. Buckets. Buckets of confidence. And look at how far it's working out for him. <laughs> Translates into the 3K. Mottom will find the fourth. And yeah. This is uh, as expected. That's not. There we are. Collex. You can disappear as well to try and do a little Stewie. more financial ruin. Don't. Just let, let them have a few more. Let them, let them feel good. Thank you. Um, yeah, scoreline wise, it, it looks competitive now. They, they've got enough to build, but I do feel that Liquid have. They've been running it, right? They've got rounds to do this with. They've been kind of taking those mad fights out. So they've been pouring players into it as well. Same on the CTs. Yes, but in terms of what we've actually seen, if we can completely forget about that first half, bear with me for a second. <laughs> All right. 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 Sell we've, me we've this, We've only Alex. seen Team Liquid win the pistol yeah. and convert the second. There that's, hasn't that's been a true. full gun round victory. We haven't seen evidence that they have, can acquire the 15th yet. You've been that's talking to that poker player, mate. Um, look. Unfortunately, Counter-Strike, as much as people want to make it a game of two halves, and you know, you just have the equal opportunity. We sound like Valve devs right now. Sure, not many people can actually have that mental reset and forget all the baggage of the first half, how badly they were being beaten on down and just resetting. Oh, this is 15 rounds. If they did it to us, we could do the exact same thing to them. That takes a lot. And I don't know if we're robots. I'm pretty sure that most of us aren't. Maybe a leash from time to time looks a little bit... Robotic? Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. All right, so outside smokes are present. Now let's see if Liquid are behind them. It certainly seems to be the case. Who's gonna, Oh, a flash and a warehouse player. Not gonna get us too excited, but Floppy can. Interesting. Ironically. Yeah, I'm not sure those flashes felt a little bit in vain. I guess they have information that it won't be a top split. No C will be, oh, he's watching uh, down below from Vince. Oh, oh, this is dangerous. He's gonna have yeah. to poke on back up if he misses. I mean, there's no one else down there with him either. Like, where's where's the follow-up? We, we saw when Stewie had come down ramp, instantly support a liege. Where's that back up? I'm, I'm worried. Oh, and maybe I shouldn't be. Ozzy backs away, but no one's downstairs. Yeah, I guess now Sonic they've now. got Sonic, right? Yeah, he's coming in from ramp. The ramp player to fill the gap, but there's so many, and he just gets overwhelmed. Cloud9, the weakness was found. Oh god. And Naf oh, is no. primed for the multi-kill. Patience, the trigger, discipline, and the massacre. Just as I started to sow foolish seeds. Team Liquid remind me what they're capable of. That was a lazy clear there as well. You could see they hinted, they looked, but they didn't completely clear that corner. And that's what happens. Naf will punish. You gotta make sure you cross your T's and dot your I's. And unfortunately, Floppy and Mottom, they all they can do is save right now. I actually thought as that round was progressing after OC got that kill and he dipped on back up, I thought they'd give lower control knowing that they had a free frag because they had three or four Molotovs left on the remaining players. What that meant to me was, okay, we give up lower control. We, they know they're going to worry about OC and Vent. You could see two players actually trying to chase him on down. And then they could set up for a retake using the Molotovs to hold the T's at bay within the doors. But it didn't go that way. So now 15 on the ball for Team Liquid. One more round and they will be winning this and that will set them up for a match against EG later in the week. That's quite juicy. Yeah, you want to see I'll that one. That. Jason and Zeus going toe to toe. Mm. They'll be bantering each other. We might actually, now that we have, you know, more coaches who can actually get a little bit lippy, yeah. we might get some excitement out of these. Is Kassad still looking for a role? Yeah, but look, he wants to make sure it's a, a like a championship caliber team. And okay. I understand that, right? He also doesn't want to go back over to North America, I would say. So yeah. look, if it's like a little bit more European based. And of course, the options there are pretty limited. Yeah, at, at, at this stage. So uh, look, online Counter-Strike anyway. The fact that, uh, you know, maybe this is just a good time to sit back, take a deep breath, watch it all I unfold. Yeah, yeah, I think that's, that's certainly something that people can uh, an approach people can take. They are going to be seeing a bit more outside aggression. I thought JT was about to continue his run, but just the suppressing fire towards Squeaky to start his 23rd. I'm seeing so few mollies. I think it was what Floppy had one and Mottom still got one, but everyone else is kind of light for everything. It's 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 not ideal for Cloud9 by any 
means, but they're trying to hold on here. And Liquid's just kind of, I, I feel like they're just draining them away. Slowly but surely, just going to tear away bits and pieces. But for now, we do see Stewie Elige all getting ready to kind of play towards these smokes that are being put down. Let's see if they commit to it off the back. Yet to really see much of this. We did see a little bit of a toy with the Pokemon this time. Again, he's going to play forward in that mall. He takes so much damage on that. It may be worth it if they call it clear now, but no one's going to upper it under assumption. JT fully flashed in. Oh. Perfect onto Stewie. Oh. Knocks the head off Elise as well. Cloud9 staying competitive here in the 23rd. Nice work from Grim though. Read that play straight through the smoke, no issue. Look, Liquid don't need to put the round on the board right now. There's no rush, but I go back to that magic number you've been hearing me harp on about all night. Just damage once some more. That's all they need. Just keep this economy for Cloud9 at bay. Hold them back. Make sure they can't start to build up a bit of a bank. And, and that's going to be very important here because, look, it is just one round. Liquid can have as many swings as they want. You can change up the pace. You can do fast rounds. You keep that CT side economy low, and you keep that chance higher and higher. But floppy, that's a big shot, mate. Nice. Nicely shut down. Sonic, he's had a quiet game, so maybe... Even in the quiet moments there to close our round might feel quite good, but Floppy's been a highlight player. Still flash sent in though from Sonic was beautiful for JT, teeing him up to shut down these two very dangerous players. Even had Mottam on that secret spot, so perhaps even justifying taking all that damage for the swing with the flash. It makes a lot of sense. It had there been a red container player, Mottam had it covered. Very nice move from Cloud9. Certainly a question of whether or not they can maintain this degree of consistency. They've managed to string together, uh, what is it now, five of the last six rounds? And yet, they cannot afford to drop another. Perfect counter-strike required from Cloud9 here, and that nade goes down Naf's throat. Burning up their smokes again. Elige is going to be dropping off his towards... That CT blue. Grim in front of main. And we have ourselves the L-Frame. Now, as Chad has highlighted before, this can be used for a multitude of different reasons. One of them is to walk in towards where Mottam looks to aggress. Oh, oh. Hang on, Elige. Oh, he's drawn blood. How is he committing to that spray? That's brave. They're going on topside. Nice shot from Mottam. You're right, topside is the hit. And Sonic can save the day. He does. OC goes down, but there's a double kill from JT that keeps Cloud9 in the lead. And all on to Stewie. He's had a fantastic series. He's leading this by a large margin but no bomb and three to find looks too tall of an order. You get one kill here though. I thought if he'd got that, he could maybe fashion some 1v1s out of it, but no, shut down by uh, Mottam. So again, we keep going through the motions here and I do feel as though there's, the problem is, you know, the unforced and forced error discussion comes out eventually for when you're on 15 rounds to, you know, potentially nine Ooh. around that. Okay, that's a little, you see that? So Grimm's, got, Grimm's got a gamer habit. You know, okay, I, yeah. I have that weird one Lauren mocks me for where I, Inhale every time I'm about to take a shot. She goes. Oh. Everybody has one. Like there's some people they grip their mouse a little bit tighter and yep. things like that. Everyone, everyone has a weird one. I saw Stewie's is stuck around. That weird kind of he like moves his mouse up robotically and then down. Like this kind when of he's orping and holding yeah, lines, yeah, he exactly. does that. But I think that's just so your eyes don't get lazy, right? It keeps you focusing. That way, one like, right there. Tap ADAD, ADAD. Yeah, kind of thing. I, I think when you're doing that with an orp, if you're hitting ADAD and then you miss the shot, and everyone's like, oh, you got to see how it's good. Normally, you're probably just moving. So that's why I think Stu does the little flick up and down with the mouse like that. But this is the type of round here that I'm worried about more so for Cloud9 because there's more risks that they get taken from a side like Liquid. The Deagles have been potent. The AK-47 in the hands of Naf, who's fully invested here. This could be problematic if they're not expecting a buy coming. Oh, he's thrown the molly to fudge the smoke wall. Hasn't worked out this time. And they want to do top. I have a sneaking feeling that this may be all it takes, Floppy. you know. He's seen it. He's watching the edge of that smoke so vigilantly. Now, the rifle is recovered by Grimm, but everyone's been called to attention. I think they've kind of felt this out, especially off the back of that pick. But now Sonic's going to be tested, and he's. A l I'm a little worried. At 6 to 20, he's not feeling the game, and when he feels it, he's great. That's good, though. Silencing Grimm plays in OC, and it's all been shut down. The deadliness of the Deagles never got to go, and this is comfy here. Again, we ask the question, is this the round? Does it keep yeah. going? I mean, th I mean, uh, the usual rule that me and Hank were digits, working right. with was double digits. Like, yeah. you, you, you talk about it as an impossible, uh, an impossible chance yep. until we see 10. Okay. And we've seen it. 
Five rounds now for Cloud9 to take us to another overtime. It has been a one-sided affair until the T side arrived. Of course, a dominant spree in return from Cloud9. And let's see if they're going to get flustered or will Liquid perhaps tighten. Oh, Ooh, thumb screws OC. a little bit. There's three of them out here aggressive. Call it clear. OC saw nothing. Oh, a top site hit could be a uh, plan. Floppy's responsible for it. JT, great camera to set the scene for the setup. They could have no idea that Cloud9 have all the information right now. This is problematic. Oh, some nice mollies set up. Here we go. CT still have mollies if they have time to use them, but no, Floppy just going to be gun out, ready. Floppy gets one, but goes down to twist. We're in a 3v3, and we still got to look at those extremities. That win is pretty big. Sonic's now been cut Oof. off, and the last two, OC and Mottom, were outside. Okay, Mottom, OC really are up against it. Not the weapon you want for the retake, but when you're hitting shots like that, perhaps it is. Twists and stew then to bring it home for Liquid. It's been a bit of a trial in the second half, but he's hit the shot necessary. Double from Twist. Good flash for Mottom to peek off of, but no one caught. Stewie spotted him. They know he's heaven. And could get both not to be. It's Liquid who take the series.